Alex of Pena Vega on stillbirth. Indy's little life transformed us about a month after her daughter's stillbirth. Alex of Pena Vega is sharing an update on how her family is doing. The former child actress took to social media to share a video update, explaining how her faith is turning her pain into purpose. Alexa shared a video on both Instagram and TikTok updating her fans and followers on how she and her family are doing since her daughter Indy's stillbirth in April. She filmed her video while her husband, Carlos Pinavega, a member of Big Time Rush, and their children were outside doing yard work. Just want to say, first off, that we're doing well. We're actually doing really well considering everything, she said. We have been so thankful reading all of your messages of support. All the prayers that you guys have prayed, we have felt them. Don't know how else we would have gone through this season without all of you lifting us up in prayer. The Spy Kids star explained that this season is the most traumatic thing that we've ever had to go through as a family, and that she's never experienced anything similar in her life and hopes to never again. We have obviously felt a lot of pain, but also an insane amount of peace, she continued. Like, God has really met us in this place between pain and peace, and it really doesn't make any sense other than it is His supernatural peace that is just covering us and allowing us to still go through grief and to still walk through this valley, but not alone and not without purpose. This season, I have learned so much about pain with purpose. Alexa continued her video by saying after losing her daughter, her health declined a lot. And no one knew what was wrong. She credits her faith with helping her get through this rough season. It was a very hard season for all of us to navigate, but I don't think I've ever surrendered in this way to God in my life. She continued through tears. Until you get to this point, you don't even realize the type of surrender that you're capable of. I just remember completely surrendering and having the pain in my heart from loss, the pain in my body from figuring out, trying to figure out what's going on with me. I just kept praying, God, give this pain purpose. Alexis said that an Indy's little life has transformed her and her family, explaining that her family has never been stronger. Her life was so purposeful, and just that short little bit that we had with her, she said. And while she may not have taken a breath here on Earth, she did not go without purpose. On April 15, Alexa shared the sad news of her daughter's stillbirth with her Instagram followers. After a beautiful and peaceful delivery, our daughter, Indy, was born at rest. She wrote, it has been a painful journey, but in the pain, we have found purpose. Her post talked about her faith and how prayers from the community around her and her family have helped. This little girl has already changed our lives in so many ways. She was absolutely beautiful and looked just like daddy. Dark hair and all, her post continued. Grief has come to us in waves, moments of feeling absolutely gutted, then moments of feeling blessed by just getting a moment with her. Thousands of supportive comments quickly poured in. Many shared their condolences and others shared prayers and love. In mid-March, Alexa shared a vlog talking about being in the hospital for five days. I started bleeding a little bit a week and a half ago. I thought it was kind of weird to be bleeding in my third trimester and obviously you guys know my history with this pregnancy has not been easy. So I decided to go get it checked out because I wanted to be on the safe side, she said. The bleeding ended up stopping and I was released and all was good. But then a few days later when she woke up to go to the bathroom at 5 a.m., she started bleeding again. She felt like this was not good. We raced to the hospital and the one wild thing that was probably the hardest of all of this was little baby is such a mover, loves just jumping around in my tummy. And it was the first time that I couldn't get the baby to move at all, she shared. 
I was just praying over my stomach. She was able to get the baby moving on the drive to the hospital and said it was a scary experience. At the hospital, she had a bunch of tests to rule out all possibilities and found out that the placenta partially separated from her uterus. After watching Alex's pregnancy vlog and hearing all that she's going through, many of her Instagram followers dropped into the comments section to share their stories and support. For my third pregnancy, I started bleeding so much at like 37 weeks, so I went to the hospital. They did ultrasound and they still didn't know what was going on ended up having an emergency C-section. They told me I had placenta previa as well, and the baby was getting detached from the placenta. So thank God, at a C-section, one follower wrote. Another said, all honey prayers for you. Stay in the hospital and rest. I had my placenta fully detached and I lost my baby. The doctor never once recommended me to rest while I was bleeding every day. I didn't work, but I also wasn't resting enough. Own other mom shared. I had a placental abruption two weeks before my due date. I won't tell you the amount of blood I lost. I prayed as we raced to the hospital. This was our first baby. My mom lost a baby at eight months from a placenta previa. And I was convinced the same was going to happen. Alexa Penavega is updating fans on how her family is doing following the stillborn birth of their daughter, Indy. We're doing well. We're actually doing really well, considering everything, she said in an Instagram video. We have been so thankful reading all your messages of support, all the prayers that you guys have prayed. We have felt them. I don't know how else we would have gotten through this season without all of you lifting us up in prayer. Pena Vega said this season has been obviously the most traumatic thing we've ever had to go through as a family. But it's been really incredible to see how God moved through our family during this time. We have obviously felt a lot of pain, but also an insane amount of peace. God has really met us in this place between pain and peace, and it doesn't make any sense other than that, it is his supernatural peace that is just covering us. She continued, This season, I have learned so much about pain with purpose. In addition to losing Indy, Penavega's health declined a lot, and nobody could figure out what was wrong. It was a very hard season for all of us to navigate, but I don't think I've ever surrendered in this way to God in my life. She described, I just remember completely surrendering and having the pain in my heart from the loss, the pain in my body from trying to figure out what's going on with me. I just kept praying, God, get this pain purpose. Do not let this pain go to waste. Pena Vega continued, Indy's little life has transformed us. Our family has never been stronger. My faith has never been stronger. My marriage has never been stronger. Her life was so purposeful, and while she may not have taken a breath here on earth, she did not go without purpose. It's hard to understand why these kinds of things happen, but I want you to know that that's not God taking a kid away from us. I know that whenever the enemy can try to throw us off or take us out or hurt us, God already knows all the attacks of the enemy and while he can't necessarily just stop these attacks from happening, he prepares us for them and he equips us. It doesn't make sense and days will continue to be hard, she concluded. I'm just going to continue to allow his peace to just overwhelm us. Pena Vida and her husband Carlos announced the loss of their child in April in a joint statement, writing, grief has come to us in waves. Moments of feeling absolutely gutted then moments of feeling blessed by just getting a moment with her. Indy Rex Penavega, you completely changed our world. They ended their statement. You moved us to a new plate. 